High school students in Pueblo have raced along some of the best and come out on top. They've put in hours of time on the track and Josh, it's clear their hard work is finally paying off. You know, no banana peels here or some of those pesky blue turtles. Yeah, Bryn, Pueblo West, they have, get this, an eSports Mario Kart team. That's awesome. Why didn't they have this when I was in school? I've been saying that like three times a week lately. Yeah, they're coming home as state champions too. Here's a few photos from the tournament in Denver. Last week it was an event in partnership with Chassa. Pueblo West absolutely dominated this year, we're told. Continued to do so through the final lap. They won 3-0 against tournament's rivals, defending champions from Rocky Mountain High School. This is actually the second time these teams have gone head-to-head -head for the title after Pueblo West finished as runners-up last year. Now we asked the team's coach, Curtis Dunford, what it took to finally take the crown. He attributed it to quote stellar leadership, lots of practice and competition and friendship that has developed over years of playing together. What an awesome accomplishment. I want to know their hacks here because if, if, you, if you've ever played Mario Kart, you know that if you're towards the back of the pack, uh -huh. you get all the really good question mark boxes. You get the stars, you get those blue turtles, right? You get the, the really heavy stuff. And if you're towards the front, you, you're, you're like jinxed. Right. How do they do it? This is so fun. Who, take skill? It Seriously? Does. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm so jealous. Congrats to the Pueblo West Mario Kart team. Excited to see how they do at Nationals. <laughs> do you know something or someone awesome at your school? Remarkable? Tell me about it. Schoolbuzz at KRDO.com.